Uh oh. Uploading a video may have actually caused the stream to be bad. I just saw it go red already. Let's hope it's gonna be fine. Really? I feel like that's not true. Hiding behind tall objects. I've done that and it didn't really work. They knew exactly where I was. <laughs> Alright, set up. Alright, nice. We still got our car. Hey, Sam. Those new sites you've brought into the network have helped us to restore more of our archives. Unfortunately, I still haven't managed to dig up anything about the BB's origins. And I'm completely locked out of BB-28 service record. If I could at least access that, I might be able to tell you why you've been experiencing those strange episodes. Well, I'll keep at it. You do the same. Sam, check the terminal for available orders. Higgs set fragile up. Eavesdropping again. It's all in your cuff logs. And with the aid of the Cairo network, we were able to restore Metal Nut City's regional archives. The records corroborate her story. Don't need you to tell me what's true and what ain't. I could hear it in her voice. Son of a bitch fucked her over good. No reservations about working with her then, I hope. Good news, Sam. The bot you sent out made it to its destination. The test was a success. Got another one prepped for you to use. Thank you with my thanks. I'm good. I don't want your damn bot. One more thing, Sam. A new delivery type has been added to the terminal. Your hard work's getting noticed. Because of that, there's been some talk of offering a premium service. Excuse me? Now, it might seem like a hassle to willingly take on extra restrictions, but if you succeed, you'll boost your rep even more. So, if someone asks you to deliver within a time limit, you could counter it by setting the limit even lower, thereby earning yourself a better evaluation if successful. Now, if you're feeling up for a challenge, give it a try. Whoa. Sam. Sometimes other porters will return Bridges' vehicles to the garage. They're for everyone, so feel free to use them if you want. I mean, I don't really need it, but I, I guess, sure.
Um, all right. Fifty eight per cent damaged. Yikes. Order assigned. Yeah, all right, you know, let's take this. Carry it on my back. And then I'm gonna go put it on my uh on my car. I think the car is just better. Also, what? No. Here's where it is. First, gotta put my sunglasses on. Then put those on level two. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Oh, way up there. Holy shit. Okay. Alright, we're taking the bike. I just realized this thing's been uh, a bit destroyed on durability. It's got less energy because of it. It's not going to make the trip. Oh, god damn it. I can't take it, it's not gonna make the trip. Oh boy. If I get on top, I should be good. There we go. There we go. That easy. Holy fuck, I'm not boosting. Like, come on. This terrain's just that rough, I guess. The car... I should have brought the car. The car would have gotten through this just fine. The car gets through this terrain like it's nothing. Although the car just keeps on, like, stalling? 
It's straight up stalling. Oh, you're kidding. Right at the fucking generator. Great generator placement, bud. Okay, this game's talking to me way too fucking often. I gotta fucking say, dude. Was that the path it's telling me to take? What the fuck is this? Oh no, have I take have I gone up here before? I might have, but probably not. Online safe house. Huh. Uh, alright, so... No, I definitely have not been up this far. Uh, okay. I hate this fucking bike so much, I shouldn't have taken it. Honestly, it's shit. It's so shit. I'm just gonna have to boost through it. working at first. We're fine. Boost out of it. I'd repair cargo if I knew how damaged it was, but I'm not going to waste it if I don't think it's damaged much. It's probably damaged like 2%, like it usually is. Been 
contacting you. The gauge you brought is going to save a lot of lives. Let me do a quick inspection. Oh, wonderful. It's in perfect condition. Thank you. I know. I repaired it myself. All right. Not many likes, actually. Always around the same amount. Goddamn, Bridge Link is getting upgraded like a crazy motherfucker now. Once you connect us to the network, we'll be able to share our measurements with everyone. You mind doing the honors? PCC level 2. Floating carrier. Okay. Time falls shelter. Safe house. Weather forecast. That's actually really important. I'm sure they told you, but this weather station was built before the Death Stranding. Bridges 1 came and fixed it up. Unfortunately, we lost contact with our weather satellites a while back interference from chiral clouds. So it's been tough to measure chirelium levels and predict timefall. But thanks to you, this weather station can finally function as intended. You made our jobs easier. Now let us do the same for you. We won't let you down, I promise. Take care. I see you got the weather station back online. Excellent work, Sam. When a region is integrated into the chiral network, it's also brought closer to the beach, in a manner of speaking. There's a significant impact on Chirelium levels, and measuring that impact is one of the Cupid's primary functions. The more we know, the more accurately we can determine where to expect timefall and when. Without the Chiral Network, we'd be left guessing. Oh, and thanks to your latest accomplishment, you can now review the weather forecast via your cufflinks. Check your map. You'll see. Ought to come in handy when you're planning routes. I'll keep an eye on the chiral density from right here in my lab. It's not too far from South Knot City. Keep processing those orders and you'll put that region on the grid soon enough. Good luck, Sam. Oh my god. Good work, Sam. That's one more site on the grid. Keep it up and we'll be finished before you know it. The weather station's forecast should be visible to everyone on the chiral network now. Yourself included. You can access them via your cufflinks. It could be useful when plotting your routes. Good work. New order available. Oh, yeah. Please access delivery terminal for further information. We've added a timefall shelter option to your PCC. They're perfect for keeping you and your cargo dry until the weather improves. Fuck yes. Would be just cool if you could get caves, but whatever. Congratulations, Sam. Your PCC's leveled up, so to speak. It now has the capacity to produce more complex structures. I'll let Mama fill you in on the details. Sam, I've added a safe house schematic to your PCC. It's so weird that she likes to it's call herself Mama. Structure, so it'll take a lot of time and materials to build. But, once complete, it's pretty much identical to a private room. Give it a shot.
Oh yeah, load on the bike. Man, I'm always 60 fucking kilograms now. If I have any PCCs on me, actually, I should get rid of those. By handing over excess materials to a facility, you can increase the amount stored on site. Now, these materials can then be used later for equipment fabrication and so forth. Just remember... Don't get carried away. I only have PCCs. Old twos. Okay. Good to know. A floating carrier is a kind of tractor car. Chiral crystals keep it suspended in midair, allowing it to move unimpeded over rough terrain. You can load one up with cargo and tow it to your destination with minimal effort. If one's not enough for your needs, you can hook it up to another and take two. Just keep in mind that carriers require a steady supply of chiral crystals to operate. Make sure you have enough to get where you need to go. I can use one then, can I? I'm just going to put it in here for now. Wait, what if I do this? Oh, okay. It's like that. Oh! Are you fucking kidding me? I can fly with this thing? Alright, we'll put it in the bike. The fuck is that dude doing over there? Yeah, see, like, I'm getting stopped by random things that don't exist. My car just stopped right there, or my bike, it just stopped right there for no fucking reason. It's so awkward. I hate the bike. Predicting the weather is akin to predicting the future. Some animals have a kind of sixth sense that helps them to avoid danger. But we have something far better. The ability to gather data and act accordingly. Only humans possess this power to plan ahead. We have the capacity to live each day imagining what tomorrow will be like. And our imagination once gave rise to a rich, vibrant culture. But somewhere along the line, we lost sight of tomorrow. 
We reduced ourselves to animals, focused only on the here and now. has always been so good to us. Amelie was a dear friend in the early days. She saw the value in what we were doing and led the effort to get our farm up and running. We've been waiting a long time to join the chiral network. Let's have a look at that wheat you brought, shall we? Well, Alvi, did you really bring us this much? How on earth did you manage? Oh, bless you. Bless me indeed. 1%, 1%, 1%. They're all 1%. Alright, that's pretty good. Two, I'm guessing. Almost three. Wow, okay. Scanner nullification. So, Sam, you've been run down by mules after they pinged your cargo, right? Well, to help prevent that from happening again, we've upgraded your own cargo scanner. Say you're about to get pinged. If you time it right, you can return the favor and cancel out their pulse with your own. They'll be none the wiser, and you can carry on without worry. Timing is everything, though. Okay. using timefall to our advantage. Our farm will be a world first. Truth be told, we've got some test fields, but without the ability to predict timefall, the results have been less than stellar. The timefall around here was fairly regular, so we had a reasonable idea of when to plant and when to harvest. But then the terrorists went and threw everything out of whack. 
Too many dead, too many craters. Weather became impossible to predict. The network's forecast ought to help us get back on track, thank goodness. If all goes to plan, we'll be able to expand our operation and use Timefall to cultivate whole swaths of land. We'll continue our genetic research too, of course, and see if we can't find a way to help develop a sustainable ecosystem. Hell, maybe we'll even stumble into some answers about the Timefall while we're at it. We got our work cut out for us, but I'm up for the challenge. Thanks again, Sam. You've given us hope for a better tomorrow. <laughs> I can't wait for the harvest. That's the way, Sam. Halfway there. You can do it. I'm halfway. Well, would you look at that? You've Fuck. only just brought the Timefall farm into the network, and already we've got new orders. May as well make use of the return trip. You bitch. Return trip. I'm not taking on standard orders. You can go fuck yourself. 